Thank you. And thank you very much, um, Mr. Chairman. Thank you for holding this uh, very important uh, hearing. Uh, a year ago, I sent a letter to the Federal Trade Commission urging it to develop and implement a comprehensive plan to stop bad actors from preying on innocent consumers with COVID-related scams and price gouging. Since then, the Commission has taken a number of, of important steps to stop this type of behavior, including issuing warning letters and charging a scammer who deceptively marketed a fake COVID treatment. But there is so much more that needs to be done. The Commission also needs to address consumer protection threats that have indirectly arisen as a result of the pandemic. Specifically, we need to stop websites that are taking advantage of kids who are online and on their devices more than ever during the period of distance learning. I recently sent a letter to the Federal Trade Commission urging it to investigate whether Google violated Section 5 of the Federal Trade Commission Act by misleadingly marketing children's apps as compliant with the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act, a law which I authored, despite evidence that many of those apps appear to illegally track children and share their personal information without consent. Mr. Kaufman, as children's time online skyrockets during this pandemic, is the Federal Trade Commission committed to cracking down on platforms that are unfairly manipulating kids and deceiving parents while they do it? Absolutely. Um, I, I agree very much with you. What has happened from the pandemic, everybody has gone online and the, the privacy and security issues have really been magnified by the, the movement of everything online. So we, I'm very familiar with your letter. I can't comment on a specific investigation, but issues of children's privacy are very important to myself, to my bureau, and to our acting chairman. Okay, great. Thank you. Um, last week, uh, the Supreme Court stripped the Federal Trade Commission uh, of its ability to obtain monetary relief for victims of scams under Section 13B of the Federal Trade Commission Act. Under this ruling, the Federal Trade Commission will operate without its primary tool for compensating uh, cheated consumers. The Supreme Court's decision uh, was nothing short of a gut punch uh, to the Federal Trade Commission and to the consumers which it serves. I look forward to working uh, with Chair uh, Campwell and Subcommittee Chair uh, Blumenthal and all of my colleagues on this committee to quickly enact legislation that restores the Federal Trade Commission's rightful authority under Section 13B. But until Congress acts, it is imperative that the Federal Trade Commission uses its full authority to deter bad actors from engaging in illegal activity. We need to stop these scams before they happen. Federal Trade Commissioner Chopra has proposed that one way the Federal Trade Commission can deter harmful behavior is by using the Commission's penalty offense authority. Under the Federal Trade Commission Act, if the Commission formally condemns a particular illegal practice, in one case, other companies uh, then are who in knowingly engage in the same practice can face big fines. Here's an example. When a company recently posted fake positive reviews that tricked consumers into buying its products, the Federal Trade Commission issued an order condemning that practice. Using its penalty offense authority, the FTC could potentially now issue serious fines against any company that knowingly defies the Federal Trade Commission by posting fake reviews for their own products. In other words, Using penalty offense authority, the Federal Trade Commission could potentially put whole industries on notice and hit companies where it hurts if they scam consumers. Mr. Kaufman, what are your thoughts on this approach? And is the Federal Trade Commission currently inventorying existing orders to see if it can use them to collect civil penalties from scam artists who are operating today? The penalty offense authority is one of the additional tools that we are very closely looking at to make sure we can do everything we can in our power to protect consumers despite the loss of 13B. Um, one issue I have with that authority is that it gives you penalties. You know, at the FTC, one of our first priorities, we want to stop the bad conduct and get money back to consumers. 
penalty authority doesn't allow us to do that, but it is a good alternative given um, the unfortunate decision of the Supreme Court last week. Thank you, Mr. Coffin. Uh, Coffin again, uh, I just wish that the FTC now would use the penumbra of the authority of the Federal Trade Commission uh, Act uh, to protect consumers uh, wherever possible, uh, while simultaneously I realize that it's imperative that we pass legislation to empower of uh, the FTC to ensure that it can get money back from consumers who have been built. And I'm looking forward to working with uh, Chairman uh, Blumenthal and uh, uh, Chair uh, Maria Kentwell in order to accomplish that goal. Thank you. Thanks, Senator Markey. Uh, thanks for those excellent comments. And now, Senator Wuhan. Uh, 